Okay, let's get started on our hair. Um, so I've already straightened my hair. Um, and now what we're going to do is take and separate our hair. Um, so you're just pretty much going to take the front part. Like if you have bangs like me, they're, my sides get bangs. They're actually really getting pretty long. What I'm going to do is take and separate those from the rest of my hair. And just put the rest of your hair in a ponytail or something, just to get it out of the way. I'm going to see if my bangs will be thick enough by themselves to do the, the front. Okay, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of hair behind my um, bangs. So if you have bangs like mine that aren't very thick, you can just take a little bit of hair right behind your bangs. You don't want to go any wider than where your bangs are. tangles that you have. Okay, so I have about this much hair now. And what we're going to do with that hair is, let me grab some hairspray. Okay, what we're going to do is tease that hair. So you'll need your rat tail comb. Section it off. The teasing is going to be like the main part of this to get this poop to work. So you can just use really small sections to work with. Um, and then make sure that your hair is straight down. Good. And you really want to make sure you're teasing it good because that way you'll get a good poof. Okay, and then you're going to spray it in the back, just at the roots. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Hold on. Yay, now you can see. <laughs> okay, sorry. So you have something like that. And do the next section. Smooth it out. We can um, fix all the little flyaways, but just smooth it out as much as you can. And then you can spray it a little bit down where you want. If you want your poof to be a little bigger, you can push up. If you want it to be flatter, you can pull it back. So I'm going to probably go maybe about there. And then take a bobby pin. Go ahead and make like an X with the bobby pins. Um, and then what you're going to do is take your the end of your rat tail comb and stick it in any of the hairs that are flat. Okay, and you can take your hair out of the ponytail. Okay, and we can mess with everything later too. If you think the poof's too big or too small, you can kind of adjust it later. So you could wear your hair like this if you wanted to. Or what I'm going to do is um, just kind of brush through your hair. Get okay, so then what you're going to do with the, the rest of your hair in the back, take it into a ponytail. I would say where the arch of your brow is, just straight back. Um, you can make it higher or lower if you want, but it's usually the rule of thumb that I use is just where my arch is at, and then I pull it straight back. And then use your rat tail comb or any um, small tooth comb, and just pull the hair back as tight as you can. And then you're going to spray. Um, you can see like these little hairs that stick out right here. You're going to spray your hairspray there and use your rat tail comb to comb it back and make sure you spray behind your ear okay and just do the same thing on the other side Oof. okay now you can take a wider tooth comb and just kind of comb down the hairs in the back. And then go ahead and put your hair in a ponytail. Make sure you've got a pretty tight ponytail. And then just, now that you're here, just go ahead and take like, you kind of want to yank on it. You almost want to make it a little bit messy up here. It's not going to be completely flat because you have bobby pins here and stuff so you want to do just make it look a little messy so you're going to pull up on some of the hairs in the ponytail and then if it does get too messy or you know if you don't like some of these hairs sticking out then you can bobby pin them down later um, 
that's pretty much what it should look like um, as far as where it should, where your ponytail should be. And you can comb through, and then you can use a little bit of hairspray to hairspray your bangs down if you just kind of leave your hand there for a second. I think you guys could see it. So what I do is take my comb and I put my hand on the ponytail like this just to hold it because if you start yanking on your hair your ponytail is going to fall. So just put your hand around your ponytail a little bit and start pulling your hair up with the comb. So I'm taking the comb, I'm placing it in my hair and I'm just pulling it up. So you're almost teasing um, the ponytail. So you should have something like that. <laughs> I know it looks pretty wild, right? So what you'll do is just and use your fingers now to comb it down and then spray it and use your hand to kind of keep the once you get the hang of this it'll be so quick like I'm trying to explain it that's why it's taking a little bit longer <clears throat> but just take it and tie it right behind the poof that you just made. You could put it over your ears or behind your ears. It's completely up to you. Let's just do it behind my ears because apparently my ears are too big. And then see if you iron it, this piece will not be standing up like that. <laughs> I'll put hairspray on it. Ah, you didn't think that would work, did you? And just hold them flat for a second and they'll flatten out. So you can do it like that if you want. I personally would rather just wear it like this. Keep it up. Okay, so that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's very simple, something that you can do right before school or just running around running errands and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I also have a few more tutorials coming up. I got a um, request for a pinup style look that I've actually been really interested in doing. So um, I'll get that one done soon and then um, we'll go from there. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.